there everybody and happy new year happy 2021 to everybody out there who's watching it's been a funny old christmas here in the uk and as i speak we went into oh, yeah we went into another lockdown we are about to go into our third lockdown starting tomorrow morning that's wednesday morning and I don't know about anybody else, but I feel the spirits of everybody around are quite heavy and we are all struggling in our own way because it is winter. We the nights are long and the days are short. Uh, we know we have this new strain of the virus that is spreading really very quickly. And I'm sure we all, whereas up till now, I haven't known many people who've had it. All of a sudden, I do have friends who have um, COVID-19. So we're all feeling just a little weary, I think, and worn down. And yet it's the beginning of term. And yet with our younger pupils, you know, we need to keep our spirits high and um, their lessons positive. We can't do that, though without feeling okay about ourselves and without looking after ourselves. So today is about encouraging you to do what is good for you, what works for you. And I'm just gonna share with, with you three things that I find help me um, to get back up a little bit more. And I'd love you to share any thoughts you've got in the comments below about what works for you, because this is so got to be individual. But as I say, we can't give to other people. We can't give to our pupils. We can't give to our family even, or our children, or our husbands, or wives, or partners, unless we feel okay here. So we are the first place to look. You, me, I, okay? So here's three things that I have liked to do. The first thing, and the most important thing for me, is to go for a walk. I go try and go for a walk every day. And... Um, I put my wellies on and I just get out the door and I'm very lucky I had a beautiful nature reserve literally in my back garden, not quite in my back garden but just around, around the back of there. So I put my wellies on, I go for the welly walk, I usually have a podcast or I have somebody in my head that, that is talking to me and it's lovely, I just get away completely. So nature is of the utmost importance and here the snowdrops they are going to be coming out very soon so i just look forward to that point where the snowdrops are going to appear that's my that's the thing i'm looking for and i'll let you know when they do around here so get out get into nature get walking and of course doing that gets me away from the computer because that's the second thing i want to say that shut down the computer put it to one side and set a timer to sit and do something different. I say sit, it doesn't have to be. For me, it means probably sitting and reading a book. I've got the, uh, the latest big book, where is he? Here we go, by Barack Obama. That's what I've been sitting down and reading. Um, but of course, you might like to do something like take a bath. Oh, it's not my biggest thing, but you know, that I, I know that some people love taking a bath. Um, you might just like to light a candle and just sit quietly and meditate. I'm also trying to do that in the mornings. That really helps as well. Whatever it is, just make it for you because you can't have, as Sharon and I were saying this, you can't have us time until there's me time. So me is really important at this point. So the third thing I would say, and I did this on Saturday because I was having a bit of a down day. Do you find that? You go down and then you come back up and you think, no, we're okay. And then you go down again. Um, so the, um, the third thing I did was on Saturday, I decided that I wasn't ready to teach this week. I decided I wasn't ready to do face-to-face, one-to-one teaching. Face-to-face, no, scrub that. One-to-one -one teaching. I hadn't been doing face-to-face -face anyhow. I just wasn't ready to do it. And so I emailed all my parents, excuse me, I'm just going to get rid of that message that's come there. I emailed all my parents and said, hey, look, I'm just not up for this. Um, how about some musicianship instead? How about if we have some musicianship? And last minute, we organised, I organised um, some musicianship classes and they've been just fab. I had one yesterday, I've just had one this morning with two littlies who of course are at home and we've had the greatest of fun um, doing songs and playing silly games and including an online scavenger hunt. 
Now, I'll come back to that at another point because online scavenger hunts are definitely a lot of fun. So feel free to change things. I think everybody understands. I'm not saying you can change every single week, but if something feels heavy, then just communicate it clearly to the people you need to uh, alert about this and make alternative plans. Because, you know, as soon as I'd done that on Saturday, I felt a lot better. I thought, yeah, actually, I can do this. I can do this. And we can do this. We absolutely can do this together. We can get our way through this. We know online teaching. We've been doing it now for nearly a year. <gasps> but we can do this. And we will get to the end of all this crisis. My sister, because I haven't seen her at all, sent me these beautiful flowers. These are spring flowers. And I've been looking at those and thinking, yeah, spring will come. The snowdrops will appear. We will go through this period. It won't return to as it was a year ago. That's gone. But we will get through this and we will be stronger because of it at the end. I know it doesn't feel like it at the moment. And believe you me, I'm struggling just as much as anybody else out there. But we can do this. And if we can communicate, stick together, talk to each other, look after yourself, then we will come out the other end. So thank you all so much for, for, for being around and sticking with me. And Jack is uh, saying she loves um, scavenger hunts. I know they're an awful lot of, an awful lot of fun. So thank you all so much. If you've got ideas of how you're going to look after yourself, maybe commit it down beneath this, um, this video, what you're going to do in this coming week to look after yourself. Find that extra little bit of time that you need and you might have to negotiate with your partner. If you've got children, you know, who has this 15 minutes, who has this 15 minutes, just you have a bit of space to yourself. So important. All right, sending you all lots of love positive thoughts. Let's keep going. Bye for now.